I'm Jono. And I'm Hannah. And today Beaver Camp is on the move. We're at the Wild Center. I'm Nick Gunn. I work here at the Wild Center. Let's go take a look at Wild Walk. a little bit about a really special thing that has happened here recently. So about two months ago we got an email that a local wildlife rehabilitator had taken in an orphaned river otter pup. So river otters are found here in the Adirondacks and they generally spend the first eight months to a year with their mom. When they're uh, that young they can't really be without her because she nurses them, she teaches them how to fish and swim and all that kind of stuff. So this baby otter pup was just a couple weeks old and couldn't be without mom. We also got another email on the very same day for a different river otter pup in a different part of the park that same story was found without a mom. So we coordinated with Dr. Nina Schock who is a veterinarian and local wildlife rehabilitator in the area. She picked up one pup, we picked up the other, and we brought them here to the Wild Center to check them out and figure out what our next steps were. So we initially had them here and we did a full physical exam and determined, yep, they were healthy, they just needed more time with mom. So uh, we started bottle feeding them um, and keeping them warm because when they first came here they were so tiny they couldn't even regulate their own body temperatures. So we were bottle feeding them five times a day, starting at 7 a.m. in the morning and continuing all the way till 11 o'clock at night. And that continued for several weeks while they got bigger and stronger and then we've gradually started to fade back on the bottle feeding and we've recently just started adding live fish into their pools. So they're currently housed in our sort of hospital area here at the museum. We do bring them outside, and we're teaching them to swim, and we're doing all the things that hopefully they're going to need to survive in the wild. We are looking to release them probably mid-fall, somewhere around October, and we're currently researching where the best place to release them, hopefully somewhere nearby, where there's great habitat and lots of live fish and stuff like that. So they're doing really great. We are no longer bottle feeding them because they don't want the bottles and also they have very sharp teeth and they've started to, to use those teeth not only to explore their environment but sometimes to bite when they're irritated. So they're doing great and um, we're just going to keep you know, doing what we're doing, exposing them to things that they need to know about, grass and logs and weather and all kinds of stuff and, and hopefully we'll be able to release them and they'll go back to being wild otters like they were meant to be. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. Alright, so here we are at Pine's play area. As you can see, there's lots of branches around and logs, so we're going to try to build a fort. Andy, do you have any particular ideas to help us out? Fascinating. Perfect. <laughs> Great plan. Let's go. Final day of construction, day seven. We've completed our beautiful porch structure. Um, it would be great to hide in here during a thunderstorm, something like that, if you need it to. As you can see, we have some limbs for structure, some other branches with needles for water protection in case it rains. It might not do super well, but you know, 
there's no rain today, so we're okay. We're okay. Parkour! 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 I wonder if anyone will get it. Parkour!